What's up my Koop Troop, it's Koops, and welcome back to more The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. We are over at the volcano. Oh boy, it's hot over here. And we're gonna go do Daruk's protection now as part of the DLC Champions Bell that we've been up to so far. Last episode, whoa, look at the lava over there. It's like dancing. That's a graphical glitch. Last episode, <laughs> I wasn't sure what to expect. I thought we'd just be talking to some people or like the diaries, but it kept going on and on and on. So I'm gonna make sure to split it up a little bit better this time because I know I now know how long those take to read through but it does provide more information so I'm glad we did it I actually thought this uh, little yellow dot was next to the top of the divine beast where all the other ones have been so I tra fast traveled to the top of the divine beast uh, in the volcano but it turns out when we look at the map this dot <laughs> is way over here I guess I could have fast traveled to one of these other locations, but you know how normally they, you can see them from the Divine Beast? So I fast traveled, then I turned on the notifications. I'm like, whoa, wait a second. This thing's a mile away. But that's okay, we, we can just go flying over there. Gives us a nice look over the disappearing landscape. I think the game used to be better op... Okay, so it wasn't better optimized, but it had more draw distance, so it looked better, especially when flying over. Oh, there it is. But I believe with one of the patches, they changed the draw distance render to make it worse. So the game wouldn't lag in certain spots. So that probably was a smart choice. But a lot of times when you're looking at far ranges, I kind of liked how it used to be. And it, it kind of stinks that it's not like that now. But nonetheless, it's okay. Like I said, I wish the game played a little bit better on the Switch, but it's okay. It's okay. Wow, we have just enough stamina to make it all the way over here, don't we? Hey, Cass, I am... Oh! Triggering the cutscene above it. I'm gonna break my legs when I land on here. I applaud your courage in coming here. The locations that we reveal to you are of trials that will enhance the power of sleeping within. Do not let your guard down. Splat! That's what's about to happen to me. Ah! I'm coming! Okay, that's in the volcano. Pretty much, right? I can't see the other photos. The photo thing on the little stone monuments is kind of weird. I, I don't know how to do it better, but it's just kind of weird. This stone monument has survived for 10,000 years. What secrets does it hold? Aww. Oh, what's this? How did you teleport from up there to over there? A traveler in the land of flames? Are you truly able to withstand the heat? I know it's not my business, but I'm rather concerned. Mm. It must be... Uh, you applied an ample amount of fireproof elixir, just as I did. Is that so? Nope. Ooh. How about that? You must have a natural ability to withstand intense heat, just like the Gorons. Nope, I just wear really ugly clothing. As for me, if I don't use fireproof elixir, I go from a bard to a baked bird. Well, never mind my musings. Ooh. Look, as expected, there's one here, too. One of the monuments mentioned in my teacher's unfinished song. Oh. <sighs> I wonder if my teacher ever contemplated this very song at this very spot. The song my teacher left behind. There's a verse about the trials that champion Daruk overcame. Allow me to sing it for you. <laughs> Crawling flame on a mighty peak. Rudania's champion, never weak. I like how that's the Daruk and all the guys, like on the Hokage kind of built to the wall. The hero's power shall grow. Seek trials, monument show. One stop a titan of molten stone. Okay, we had to be one of those rock beasts. To follow rings of light alone. Fly through them, sail through them. Three survive lava's fiery fate. Champion trials await. So, did it move you? By steeping myself in legends of the champions, I'm beginning to form a deeper understanding of them. This will prove invaluable in writing the key verses of the song. I can imagine it vividly, the champion's vigilance from a hundred years ago. 
Oh. My teacher always advised that to write good songs, one must travel the world and meet lots of people. That is why I spend my days afoot talking to anyone who will listen. I was lucky enough to meet with Unobo and Bluto in Goron City, both of whom knew much about the Goron champion. Unobo and Bluto. We'll have to remember those. Yes. They regaled me of some rather interesting stories. Oh. I'm certain the stories they shared will help greatly in my efforts to accurately write the song's key verses. Hooray! So, first things first, let's go take some photos! So we have them... ...to find out where we need to go. So first one's first. Great photo. You can hardly tell what's going on. Perfect. Daruk's protection is now ready to roll! Perfect, Daruk, I will need your protection. Well, this one's easy to spot. There's the giant crab rock and the giant uh, ancient... Uh, what, what, what is this called? Um, skeleton? Like, I mean, I'm trying to think of a different... Like, I guess that's what it is. It's just the ancient skeleton over there. This one, I'm not actually sure. Looks kind of like any of the other areas in this game. In this area. So I, I, don't, I don't know. We'll figure that one out. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's... I guess first things first, let's go do the easy thing, which is... Oh no, you guessed it. Let's go talk to you Nobo and get the backstory. Let's get this out of the way. It'll give us some more information on Daruk. I, that, that's interesting. It's good stuff. It just takes a while. And my voice gets sore doing all of the champion voices. They talk too much and I have to do all these different voices. It kills my vocal cords. Maybe I should have gone to like voice acting school. That would have been really useful. But I can't sing. I don't. Ha I can't carry a tune. Can't whistle. I, I don't know. I I'm just not cut out for this. You know. It just. I do my best, but I have to give everyone derpy voices because that's all I can do. Derpy voices. So I'm not sure where these guys are. I think they're in that house in the front. I'm gonna be looking for a B name and a Y. You're Bluto, right? Yeah, that's right. Holy hotness! She's talking about herself. It's another scorcher today! Do you need something? Where's Yonobo? Yonobo? I saw him staring off into the distance on top of the entrance gate. Typical. Actually, it seems to me that Yonobo is acting more accomplished and confident these days. Maybe he's finally realized what it means to be ascended to the Great Daruk. Was there something else? Tell me about Daruk. Can't see with my giant spear in the way. Here, let's just cover half your face. You want to know about Daruk, huh? Popular subject these days. Not too long ago, a little Rito bird came by. I want to know all about him. I told him about all kinds of things. For example, about the Boulder Breaker, Daruk's weapon of choice. I told him how heavy it is and how its power is unmatched. You know the valley at Gotram Cliff, southwest of Gorko Tunnel? Gotram Cliff, okay. It was made by Daruk with his Boulder Breaker in one night. Why? Why? What do you think? Make it easier for us Gorons get all that tasty rock roast. That Rito fella seemed to like the other story I told him better, though. I'm not a big fan of that one. The heroic and exciting stories of Daru capture him much better. Was there something else you needed? It's another Scorcher today. So we gotta go find Unobo. Something, what do you say about the boulder? Gorko Tunnel? Oh, this cliff was made by that weapon. Now, maybe that weapon's, like, right around there? Maybe that's what the hint is, but I don't really need another weapon. Uh, where's the front entrance? There it is. I probably could shop here, too. I don't know if I they have anything I need. Hey! hey. I'm too lazy to climb. Oh, I am gonna miss that. Oh, good evening. Welcome to my secret hideout, Goro. It's a bridge that everyone can see. How's the secret? <sighs> Take a look over there, Goro. See? See what? This is a, oh, he said something about the Vesvia of Redania. To think we actually fought that thing. Amazing, Goro. And I wasn't even scared of it until just now. Hmm? I, 
I did well, didn't I, Goro? You did your best. Good job there, buddy. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. Thanks, brother. This spot is our little secret, okay? Just between you and me. Anytime you want a great view of Rudania, just come here, Goro. Oh, did you need something, Goro? Tell me about Daruk. Mm. About Lord Daruk, Goro? Oh. oh, that reminds me of something. I found Lord Daruk's training journal. Mm. He must have been a big eater. He sure talks about delicious rocks a bunch. What else? Oh, Lord Daruk also had a good friend who liked to eat as much as he did. I don't have much of an appetite myself, so I'm pretty scrawny, Goro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to have to start eating lots so I can become as strong as those two. Training journal? Oh. That's right. I found it when I was cleaning out the abandoned North Mine where we met. Lord Druk's train journal is at my house now, Goro. Mm. Anything else? No. Oh. Where's your... Your house is, uh... Geez, I've come here enough to know where your guys' houses are. I think it's... It's, it's his main one, right? That's where he lives? Or does he sleep somewhere else? This is not his house, is it? No, I don't think. I should be looking for the journal, huh? That's all I need to be looking for. I don't see it, though. I don't remember where your noble's house is. Um, let's just make a quick per quick look around. Maybe we'll find it. Is this your noble's house? There's a journal-looking thing. Nice, we found it. Woo! Read Daruk's training journal. Sure. I'm going to start writing in this diary thing starting now. Oh, a diary. Maybe I'll call it a, my training journal. Yeah. They say all you got to do is write down stuff that happens. Us Gorons prefer the simple life, so I hope simple stuff counts. Let's see. For today's journal entry, what should I write about? Oh, I know. I had some rock roast from the peak of Death Mountain. It was delicious. I think I'll eat more of it soon. I talked to some Hylians at the base of the mountain. All anyone wants to talk about these days is Calamity Ganon. Reminds me of when those tiny Sheikah came to Death Mountain a few years ago to dig up the Divine Beast or whatever. The Highlands were saying that beast thing is a weapon somehow someone will need to learn how to control or something. I don't know. Back in the good old days, Gorns didn't worry about relics we couldn't eat. Mm, now I'm hungry. Maybe I'll track down a prime rock roast for one of my dinners tonight. Today I saw someone being attacked when I was out looking for lunch rocks at the peak. He was a little tiny guy, so I rushed down to the mountain to help him. I was shocked to find he was handy with the sword. By the time I rolled his way, he'd already taken out all the monsters. I couldn't help but admire his Goron-like strength. While I was distracted, a monster almost got the jump on me. He stopped it. The great Daruk, saved by a tiny Hylian. I must have had a dopey look on my face when that happened. Hope he didn't notice. That little Hylian from before is named Link. He's got a respectable appetite. Loves to eat meat, fruit, veggies. All sorts of things a decent person wouldn't ugh, dream of eating. Link will cook up and eat just about anything. I offered him some grade A rock roast to help refine his palate. I asked him how it tasted. He liked it so much he was speechless. Or maybe I knocked out all his teeth. Or maybe he just never talks. I knew Hylians could eat rocks, too. Eating isn't the only thing Link and I have in common. That little guy is also incredibly strong. He said sometimes when he focuses, it feels like time slows down. Heh, <laughs> I really like that guy. He's the type of guy you can trust to have your back and also have a nice hearty meal with. Yeah, that spells that from now on, Link is an official brother. Hyrule's little princess came down to Goron Saint and asked me to pilot the Divine Beast. I said yes. The great Daruk never turns on someone in need. When I said I would, the princess seemed really happy. There will be four champions to control four divine beasts, and one swordsman to take on Ganon. Including the princess, our anti-Ganon team is six strong, made up of all different kinds of people. This is the makings of an epic feast. I got the ball rolling by giving the princess my best rock roast. She said thanks, but I think she was holding back a grimace. Must have had something foul in her mind. I'm a champion now. Feels good, man. I hadn't talked with Link in a while, so seeing him at the inauguration ceremony was nice. It was a good day. Oh, word has it Link has been chosen as Zelda's appointed knight. I can't think of a better brother for the job. I hear one of those ancient machine things went nuts during some tests and shot out deadly beams. With true Goron spirit, Link grabbed a pot lid from the ground and deflected the blast, killing innocent nearby people. Truly a hero. He nailed the thing in its weak spot and saved the day. His bravery caught the king's eye, and not long after that, he was appointed to guard Zelda. I expect nothing less from the little guy. I've been chosen to pilot Rudania, but I was having trouble controlling it. I was the only champion who was struggling. I asked Link for advice, but he just shoved me into the Divine Beast so I could explore it aimlessly all day. I can't explain it, but by the end of the day, I was able to control Rodania just how I wanted to. I guess experience is the best teacher, little guy. Strength must have come from working hard and never giving up. Good lesson, brother. As thanks, I'm going to treat him to some gourmet sirloin rock. All my Hylian brother seems to do these days is watch over the tiny princess while she does her research. 
It looks like tough work, but the princess seems a lot happier and talks more since she's been doing it, so it must be okay. I hear the little guy finally opened up about his troubles to the princess while they were shoveling food. Surprisingly, she opened up right back. Uh, she says something princessy like, I guess we're the same, you and I. Hmm, sounds heavy. They must have been bonding over their food preferences. That'll do it, all right. Speaking of opening up, all of this journal writing has made me realize something about myself. Writing makes me hungry. I can respect that, Daruk. Writing does indeed make people hungry. Woo, that was a lot to read, but I preferred Daruk's version of everything. That was pretty funny. I don't know if there's something there. I, uh, let's go check it out first before we get to the other stuff. It'll be a quick fly down or slide down the mountain, one of the two. And we'll see if we we spot uh, a boulder breaker. It'd be kind of cool if they put one there. I think they might actually. I could totally see the game doing that. Putting a boulder breaker there. But we already have his weapon. That might, uh, so I'm thinking maybe, actually maybe not, right? We have the boulder breaker. I just have it in storage. The weapons are too expensive to replay, so uh, you like never use them, unfortunately. Because if you break them, you got to get them repaired. Not repaired, you got to like, get a whole new one. Stinks. I don't have a shield, do I? I need a shield to ride down. All right, radiant shield. You're going to be also going to get rid of the stupid... That thing is 63 power. I was like, I'm going to get rid of that stupid weapon, but it's actually pretty good. I have a lot of ice blades. All right, so let's go this way. Looks fun. Oh! There goes my shield. So I put it here to see if there is a something or another. Here, go trim cliff. We knew that. But go away, Keys. Do not attack me. I'm not in the mood for you all. Just see if there's a boulder breaker. I guess not. I think they're just telling us that they that he made it. We already have the boulder breaker in our position. I was hoping there's like an ancient one kind of buried in the rock wall, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Okay, that's fine. Let's go see these ones. So stop a titan of molten stone, follow rings of light, survive lava's fiery fate. Let's try. The rings are normally pretty quick and easy. Let's try that. Actually, then again, I don't know which one's which, do I? Hmm. Oh, I gotta go to this. Man, there's so many buttons to go through. Okay, so we know this one is by the... Vo That's the volcano, yes. Death Mountain. That one, we know where that is. And I don't know where this one is, so let's ignore that for now. Maybe this one? Okay, so that is... Let's just make sure. It's where the thing splits off into three like that. Yeah, it's gotta be right there. So we're gonna pin that and we are going to fast travel up there and do whatever we need to do <laughs> at the pin. Hopefully something pretty straightforward so we can get a shrine down. Excited for another emblem and to get Daruk's protection. Now, Daruk's protection I use, it's kind of one of those ones where you use accidentally all the time. It is helpful for like Lionel fights, but then otherwise it just kind of gets in the way. Oh, I guess that's what we're doing. Flying through rings. Not bad, we can do this. A little hot around here, but I've got my equipment on and I'm ready to go. How's it gonna need me to do this? Am I gonna have to fly down? Guess we'll find out. Oh, we're flying up, huh? This one, I actually think I can just climb up. Is that a blood moon up there? Oh, it is a blood moon. Yikes. Oh, I just barely made that. That was really close, actually. Oh, man, the blood moons make those look awesome. So the problem is I really don't want to be doing dealing with the blood moon right now. Oh, I accidentally just put my thing away, too. This could be a real problem. 
Please don't let me miss this. Miss this. Because of the stupid blood moon. Okay, we're good. Will I have enough height? Yeah, we should be fine. Woo! That was a. Uh, that was pretty cool with the blood moon going on, but a little tricky. Now, where did this pop out? I actually like that one more than the sand seal racing. Anytime you have to climb up and down and fly around and fly through rocks, that's a plus in my book. I thought it was a lot of fun. The ring ones are pretty easy too, but they're also fun in general, so. Oh, right there, nice. Get the lizard! Can I get the other lizard too? I always need fireproof lizards. I know they're used for some of the upgrades and they're super annoying to get, so anytime I see them, it's like, grab the lizards. Okay, I didn't see what shrine this was, but we'll go inside and find out its name. I was too focused on the lizards. Laser focus on the lizards. Gotta get the lizards. Shrine time? Woo, feels like it's been a while because last episode was just talking. This one involved a lot of backstory too. Uh, I mean, I know it's probably not interesting for a lot of you all, but it's part of the game. It's kind of good to get. And some people request it, so I'm happy to do that. Blind spots. Sharo Loon Shrine. There we go, that's what it is. So, can I stasis? I can. Can I magnesis? I cannot. I'm assuming I need to climb on these things, but... Okay. Don't really want to get melted. Well, I won't be melted because I have my fireproof suit on. The fireproof suit kind of makes this OP. I guess technically you're supposed to dodge it, right? By going on opposite sides like this. See, I, I could do this, but you know what? I'm just going to stand on top because I, I can't get melted by this. Can't stasis that. Ooh, it hot! Yeah, see, in these ones, you need to climb up on top like I'm doing currently to avoid it. That's if you don't have the fireproof suit. But once again, if you have the fireproof suit, it makes this much simpler. <laughs> so I keep looking for the treasure chest. I would hate to miss it on these very slow moving platforms. So those drop off and just disappear. Don't want to ride that ride anymore. <laughs> I'm, uh, this ride's starting to look a little boring. <laughs> oh, here's where it gets exciting. Spikes, huh? Okay. So, no riding on the top of this. Nope, I just said climb down. Don't want to be standing on top of that one. Is that a shoot? Is that like a ball fall down there? Or what? Oh, enemies. I didn't even see them. Woo! Oh gosh! That went horribly. Man, that went so poorly. I don't know if I should kill those guys. Or what? No, climb down, climb down. Okay, now climb back up. And climb back down. Yeah, I did not, I just, I got all bamboozled there. I didn't mean to climb up, and then when I did climb up, I was like, oh, I'll just revolve its gale up, and then I jumped and I ran into it, and it stopped my revolve its gale, and then I got shot and fell off. It, it just was a comedy of errors. And that was uh, pretty pathetic for me. Really can't speed this up, huh? Maybe we could stasis and hit it to go faster? I don't know if these things go on the track faster. Here, let's try. That didn't work. Oh my gosh, Link! You're doing me like that, huh? At least I don't make you redo the whole shrine, I think. Yeah, they're nice enough to not make us redo the whole shrine. Oh, that's where we need to go. Hit. 
Oh, I can't revive these Gale because I'm inside. I am so dumb sometimes. I don't know why I thought I could revive these. I, I always just think I can't. I guess I, I can't because I'm inside a shrine. I'm so dumb. Oh, well. Okay, there's water. Oh, wait, that's a treasure chest falling. All right, we'll knock that one off. All right, caught it. Okay, I didn't catch it. Nice. That's real lucky. It's a... Uh... Hey, I caught that one. <laughs> Great flame blade. Well, we can get rid of this crap. Nice, we got the treasure chest we needed. Bye bye. What's on the other side? Nothing? Okay. So, that was that. All good. I don't see anything else. And this is my ticket out of here, huh? Nice. Oh, but now I gotta climb my way up, don't I? Oh, well, that's fine. We'll build ourselves a nice little ladder. Okay, I guess I'll just fall off. Really? Die. Perfect. We made it! Anything else? I think that just goes... Does that go around the track? It does not. So if you thought you could take a ride all the way around, you'd go... Oh, bye. This guy just has an endless amount of those blocks. You can just throw off. Guy doesn't care. Look at him. He's just like, yeah, whatever. I can just keep throwing those away. Doesn't affect me in the slightest. What a wasteful dude. That will give us our first Rudania's emblem, the commemorative symbol of fire trials completion by one who wishes to control a divine beast. Woohoo! Clip three emblems to open the path to a new challenge. I'm well on my way. Actually, I'm not. I'm 33% on my way. To remain. So I guess I'm slightly on my way. <laughs> I like this guy's pose, though. He's like getting strength between his hands. He's fusing some kind of powerful spirit energy that we can't see. He's just, just, just gonna, like, kami hami ha and blast us with it. Don't do it, Mr. Monk Man! Your powers are too great! Well, that's the first one down. We have two more left to go, but that will be the end of this episode. When we come back next time, you know what we're in store for. More shrines in doing Daruk's protection stuff. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Go ahead and karate chop that like button. Until next time, GG. GG.